Hey, how's everybody doing today? Wow. So I've got some clips to show you because I did a thing. So here's the clips. See if you can figure it out and I'll be back to tell you the thing. Day number four. Five days. Five days? Day six. Day four, but technically day five, because I started on Sunday and today's Thursday. Getting ready to go into work. That hasn't been as hard as I thought. Although, the habit. My schedule is exactly the same. And that's the cool part. I mean, my routine doesn't change. It's all scheduled. You know, I'm scheduled. How much of my routine involved smoking was not aware until Monday. I mean, it hasn't been, you know, terrible. And my staff doesn't hate me, and I can prove it. Watch. Just kidding. They love me. So what do you think? And my husband is here, and he's kind of giggling at me because I'm being silly. But, I mean, I still have the chemical help. But I did the thing. Now, I prayed on this for some months. Um, my hubs who will not come on camera with me, um, at this moment said that, um, when he quit, he just, I called him one afternoon to tell him I was stopping at the store and he's like, I quit smoking. I'm like what? And 19 months, his name is Doug and he has been, uh, smoke free for 19 months. I've known him since 2003. We met in 2003. And he just got frustrated with himself one day and quit. And I said, you know, I need to do the same. Ever since my first grandchild was born, I wanted to quit. And I regretted, you know, smoking while my kids were growing up. Uh, so with me, um, I'm one of those people, you know, I had an eating disorder. I have uh, issues I've been working on. Coolest thing about Entra is working on your issues is not such a scary thing anymore. And it's okay to be imperfect because what you find out with Entra and this group is that everybody has issues. It's not just you. You're not some like total freakazoid outcast. Well, yeah, I'm probably, I, I am probably a freakazoid outcast nerd. Yeah, but there's a whole lot of people like me. So while I'm super proud of my husband, I needed help. He did not have to have a patch or gum. He ate the entire world in the first week <laughs> or two weeks. <laughs> Grocery bill was like, ding, 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 you know, when he quit smoking because, well, my husband weighs 160 pounds. He can eat the entire world and I gain the weight instead of him because he's, you know, got better genetics or something, you know. Um, <laughs> so I was proud of him. And then I spent the next, what, couple, three weeks trying to keep him from, you know, eating the furniture. I have not wanted to eat the furniture. <laughs> this is the super real, um, <laughs> if, if, yeah, if you've ever tried to quit smoking, you know it's hard. I, I started smoking for the stupidest reason, and I'm going to share it with you. When I was 17... Actually, I started smoking before I was 17, but it was here and there, you know, just when I was around my brother's friends because they were older and I wanted to seem like super cool. I'd smoke and then, you know, hack up a lung when nobody was watching. So I went to the beach after graduation. And I was dating this person. We'll be kind and say that. We'll, we'll say that I was dating a person. And I got home from the beach and, you know, you smell like cigarettes. Well, Yeah. I went to the beach after graduation. I've been drinking for three days and <laughs> I smoked cigarettes, which I didn't normally. 
that relationship went south in the next three weeks and I broke it off. And um, so the first thing I did was, well, I'll show him. I'm going to go buy a pack of cigarettes. Well, at this point, I had smoked off and on. But, you know, not that I had to have them. And that was the pack that hooked me. That pack. That, that was, oh, I was so pissed. So then my mom finds out <laughs> because I was 18 by this time. And I said, look, I'm not going to ask, you know, I'll work. I'm, you're not going to have to, I'm not asking for anything, you know. And my, my parents both smoked. And my dad smoked until his first heart attack and then he quit. So, <laughs> I smoked for about a year and a half. My mom and I decided to quit together. And at some point, my dad handed me a cigarette and a lighter and said, you know, smoke or get out. Because apparently I was just, you know, pardon my French, the bitch from hell. <laughs> so, I have, uh, I have quit, tried to quit smoking twice. This is not counting pregnancies, you know, I tried to quit smoking. Um, as an adult, I mean, I've literally smoked for 30, I'm 50 three, almost 54, started at 17. And my husband's laughing. It's okay to laugh. Go right ahead. Um, so not counting pregnancies and whatever. I've, I, I've smoked for my oldest child is 32. Oh yeah. So I smoked a while and it's a Linus blanket. And the first thing I told my husband was I just didn't realize how much of my schedule was around smoking. Like, I get up in the middle. I don't sleep a lot at night. I sleep for maybe an hour, hour and a half at a time. My hip hurts and I have to get up and whatever. You don't need to know all that. But uh, in the middle of the night, I'd get up. There's that cigarette. And I'd head to the ladies' room and I'd, you know, I smoke little 72s. So we were like talking like four puffs. But still, that's been the hardest part is the nighttime. And when I'm sitting at the laptop working. Um, now at work, I can get up and go take a break when I want because I'm the boss. So I found that a lot of times I'd get to a point where it's like, I need to walk outside and I'd walk outside and I'd smoke a cigarette. And that's when my, my brain would file things I'm like, Ooh, forgot that. And I got to come back in and I would nine times out of 10, throw a cigarette down or put it out that I had two puffs off of and go back into work. This has been a thing. I've worked for the same company since 2002. You don't realize how much of a habit it is, right? So what, what, what do you remember about habits from your training? Okay. This, <laughs> this is more information than anybody that knows me gets from me. So if you're trying to quit smoking, if you're thinking about smoking, put the shit down and walk off and don't light it. And if you, if you are an occasional smoker, put the shit down and walk off and don't light it. If you are a smoker like me who's addicted, put the shit down and don't light it. <laughs> Just don't do it. I feel better. I can already take, I'm a singer. I can already take deeper breaths. And when I sleep, I'm sleeping better. And I'm noticing differences in my skin and my hair. So the same day, this was Sunday. Today is Friday. Okay. I quit on Sunday and today is Friday. Now what I did on Sunday, I quit smoking. I cut four inches off my hair and I colored it. If you're going to change stuff, just make it all better at the same time. So I've always been proud of everybody that could. And I prayed on it. And I told God, when you know that I'm ready, you tell me. And whatever you say, God, I will do. And I got up last Sunday morning and God said, guess what? <laughs> it's time. I had three cigarettes in my pack. I have, I've had no, I don't have a pack. I don't have a fallback. There's nothing in my purse. There's nothing in my car. I never was a person that kept cigarettes hidden everywhere. They were always, you know, and I smoked my last one at nine o'clock Sunday morning and I didn't go buy anymore. I don't have that. I don't have that. Twizzlers are my friend and I have not gained any weight this week. I am proud to say I've lost about four pounds. Um, that's probably most of uh, a, a big bunch of celery because celery is very chewy and a lot of your smoking is a habit. Um, Twizzlers have been my friend. I will admit to having more than my share of probably jelly beans this week because they're also chewy. But, but I've kept to my eating regimen for the most part except for today and today was Friday so it was bonus day and today's pizza day. Yeah. 
Chubby girl's going to eat pizza, but I earned it this week. Um, I'm proud of me, whether anybody else is or not. <laughs> this was bigger for me than um, I know how to say. Possibly my, my mom and, and my brother and sister and my husband are probably the only four people on the planet that realize how hard this was for me because they know me. And if I can, you can. If this, this was the last thing of my old life that I give up, the last thing. You know what? Feels good. Okay. I hope you got something from this. If you don't watch anything else on my channel, watch this. If you're interested, watch some other stuff on my channel because sometimes I'm funny. And some of it's good stuff. I mean, I am kind of smart. And I do give decent advice. So, if you're thinking about it, jump in. Now, if you want to know what brought me to this, if you're interested in why I'm making these life changes and why I'm going after the best life I can possibly have, links below. You need to click subscribe. New Day, New Way means exactly that. Click subscribe. Check out the links below. You won't be sorry. Come back and see me. I'll see you on the next one.